lost all the footage we just recorded, so to recap what we recorded 40 minutes worth. Hey guys, look, I got Eminem's and Sass Kittle. Hillary Clinton micro. Uh... <laughs> you know, let me intervene here while Ethan talks about <laughs> useless stuff. In your wickedness, you have broken the ancient commandments and crafted a bond with one of the light. Our laws are clear. They demand you be eternally imprisoned. As for the impure child, she must be kept from the path of the dark arts forever. And welcome, gentles and ladies. Man. I'm Michael. Wait, we already had that intro. You already had an intro. No, we didn't. Yeah, yeah we yeah. just said that. No, we didn't. Before. Yeah, we did. Well, we were just Say talking. your names. We just had an intro already. We don't need What's your intro. name? Uh, my name is Eminem. It's Hillary Clinton. My, my name is Eminem, the, with the E, the rapper. <laughs> and I'm the real Slim Shady. Uh, uh, Alonzo, you need to stand up then. Uh, just yeah. start the damn game. Yeah. Already. Okay. So this game is very cutscene heavy. So you know, for the so for the first couple of parts, it's going to be not a whole lot going on. So I hope you'll stick with this until it it gets more interesting later on. Trust me. So we're gonna kick this Trust off. Trust him. He's a doctor. Yeah. And as you might be able to get not a legal um, doctor, but a doctor. We had some recording difficulties with this first section of the game. So Mikey's in a really good mood right now. Yeah. So, I'm not in a good mood anymore. <laughs> so now we have to re-record the first chunk of the game all over again. And the first, like, fucking hour. 40 minutes. The 40 universe minutes. of light and dark. Well, perception is reality. No, it isn't. The story in this game can be very confusing, so I'll, I'll be here to clarify things where I can, because I've read, I've read as much novel. of the in-game lore as, as one can. And... Yeah, I'll, I'll be. Tr I'll try to clarify things. Where, but we've got. We've got. There will be some instances where we'll let the game, you know, just sort of play and have the cutscene go on. Then there will be other times where we'll just commentate over it because not too much is going on. Who requested this game? Um. Yes, there was a gentleman named um, American Walrus, and he asked if we could do something more story driven. So we set up a straw poll on my Twitter. And we we pulled to see what people wanted wanted to see us play that was more story driven. We had Resident Evil 5 Uncharted in this game. I want a Resident Evil 5. I want an Uncharted. And this game had like over 50% of the respondents I think selected Bayonetta. So and it's probably because most of the people who know me on Twitter are Nintendo fans, and this is like kind of a Nintendo franchise now, sort of. But the reason yeah. is because of me. Not to stroke my own dick or anything. Not to stroke my own dick or anything. But everybody here loves me. Except the two people sitting in the room with me. <laughs> Who knows? Except for those people. Because the microphone decided that it only wanted to record a minute and 45 seconds for our first Gee, session. Gee, Mikey making mistakes with the audio. That's, yeah. that's, I've never heard of that before. Uh, I know. Listen, go, maybe, go maybe if you guys could spot check me... You know, this wouldn't happen. Well, you honestly trust Alonzo? Oh, wow. He's tapping look, look, he's, <laughs> he's pushing he's the blame again. Yeah, he's pushing the blame. Hey, you guys should have watched for my mess-ups. Yeah. And then maybe they wouldn't happen, and then we wouldn't have to be What was I supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? You have it behind the other. You have it behind the other. We're not going to check your audio. Okay, enough. See? When he's blaming us, <laughs> so he this... him on his own foot. <laughs> this intro recording. sequence is telling us some basic exposition about the series and the mythology. Essentially, there were these two overseer clans called the Lumen Sages and the Umber Witches. And they had the ability, they were powerful and oversaw history. Then something, and they were basically equally powerful. So, 
you know, they, they just sort of let each other do their own thing because they were kind of afraid of the other, but then something happened to make the clans go at each other's throats, and the Great Clan Wars erupted about 500 years ago. That's what... And in the process of this war, the witches were able to win, but unfortunately, um, the humans, because they were the only ones left, the humans feared what would happen to them. So now, what we're seeing right here are the witch hunts, and basically the soldiers of Paradiso, heaven, angels here, are trying to hunt down the last of the of the Umbra witches, and that's what we're seeing right now. I like that background. They're just kind of floating everywhere. Yeah. That's cool. So this yeah, game yeah, you was... Guys are, you guys are really going to like our Castlevania playthrough. <laughs> talking, to, talking about Mikey mistakes. Yeah, yeah that was, that was, that was a pretty shithead moment on my part. I'm just, yeah, I did. Yeah. Which we're not... We haven't released that part yet, because this is... We're actually yeah, this, recording this, like, the day right before, before we're releasing it. So, when you, if you're watching this on December... March 30th... We're, when did we go to this? We recorded this the night before. We recorded this yesterday. But Usually if you're, we if you're, if you're watching on April 17th, 2016... We uh, did not record this yet. We recorded this a year ago. <laughs> In a year, that will be relevant. That joke will be relevant. Yeah. This is a Simpsons joke. It's like... Lisa, what if what? How would you feel if someone looked at your actions twenty years from now and laughed at it? And uh, that air, that episode was aired at like April twentieth, nineteen ninety four, and somebody posted that picture and put it all over Facebook and like all over these websites. Like, <laughs> how do you like it if somebody twenty years from now is watching you and laughing at you? And it was twenty years since the twenty years after the episode aired. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Ethan. There you go. Present day. Buffalo of blood. Yeah, their own alternate yeah. universe. Yeah, their alternate present day. E Ethan, in our first recording session, had asked because he had noticed that some of the architecture and cars, all the classic. Ve all the vehicles were like from the fifties and forties. I'm and, thinking and maybe this takes place in the fifties and forties, and then the next game is goes in time since they live forever. Oh, actually, no. What does the city? Enzo is still there. The cities don't look like they're in the modern. Enzo day. doesn't get older, so yeah. I mean, they built skyscrapers in the. They didn't look like days. that in the fifties. Yeah, mm -hmm. they did. Whatever's. New York was a place. Way back in the thirties. So this game was developed by a, um, a company named Platinum Games. They're awesome. Yeah, they they're famous pretty much for making over the top fun action games. Is, Super awesome. Is there any some symbolic reason behind the, all of the? Film reels, or is it just a style choice? Style, style choice and the cut animation cost. Yeah, I mean, hey, good. Show all the costumes. Show all the costumes. All right, sure. Why not? I we'll think make I something just... different for our first section. Yeah. So if you get the Wii U version, then you get four costumes right off the bat. You had a prince, Princess Peach, Princess Daisy, Link, and Ooh. Samus. Ooh. Dude, go with Link. Oh, go with Samus. No, definitely Samus. Samus. Uh, Samus. No. Ah, oh, Link. Maybe, maybe, I, I maybe, want the game to be genuine. Maybe for, maybe for it like doesn't one matter level. if it's genuine. Uh, yeah, for a different for, level. For, but one, for, now, for one level, do, you have to do Samus. And right. Link. Nah, Link for Okay, Link for we'll like do that. Seconds. No, no Link. No, 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 Link for a whole episode. So, and Metroid Samus for, the for like whole a couple game. seconds. <laughs> Metroid for the whole game. I'm a big Link Metroid fan, Mikey, even though I've only played like a couple of them. Yeah. One. Have you beaten one yet? No. Have you played Prime? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Prime 2? No, not yet. 3? No. So just sort of a Metroid word of warning no. is that okay. this intro sequence is going to be going on for a very long time. Forever and ever and ever and ever. So, so, skip, ever so skip here to skip past the cutscene like everyone or else. Or watch does. it, you know. You know, it's pretty cool. It's a cool cutscene. Yeah. yeah, Michael's not going to add in a card there to I, I'll add in a card. I'll do that for you guys. Hey! But... Um, so we're gonna be we're gonna be letting part of it play, and then we're gonna be sort of resuming the commentary, as because it, and like even for me, because well, so this is like fun. the third or fourth time I'm I'm playing through this game, and now you can only, well I'm just gonna let it talk here for a moment. Bye. Uh, it, it looks like Humpty Dumpty's taking his last fall. Even old Eggman the Destroyer gets scrambled in the end, right? You know, I still don't get why the hell you drag me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. 
Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. People have been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Now, look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. Without good-hearted souls like us to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? If it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> Speaking of hungry, we done here. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I tell you what. Well then, adios. Here? For this douchebag? Ah! I hate this damn light! I can't see a thing! Oh! What the there? Ain't they? You hearing me? You, you can see them, can't you? I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to Earth. Oh my God! Dear Lord, Grant us guidance, and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. Holy All crack, right. Snort, we're back. <laughs> we are? No. Like I said, this this intro sequence is going to be going on for oh, pretty Same fucking time. long, actually. Long pretty fucking. Long Indeed. pretty fucking. So, to sort of clarify what's going on here, is... Yes, that is indeed Bayonetta, the main character of this game, and... No, it isn't. She is an Umber Witch, and as part of... She, she is formed packed with a bunch of demons, and that's how she has her powers. So in order to keep her end of the contract, she has to kill angels from heaven. And sort of sacrifice them to the demons in hell. And if she doesn't, she gets dragged back down to hell. So that's what she, what's going on right now. She was trying to find a way to lure the angels down so she could kick their asses. And that's... And honestly, I didn't get that the first time I played this, so I was pretty damn confused. And my girl's back. <laughs> Indeed. So, hmm. how you like that, Eric? That's my girl right there. Fuck yeah. my girl. <laughs> such a stupid person. Photoshop. <laughs> 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 Michael, so, such a dumb person. For like that yeah. first scene. <laughs> yeah, so... That's, that's something I'm curious about, is like, there are three characters in this game that I suspect would be Eric's favorite. That being my brother. That who being, some that other being my girl right here. Yeah, it's and either the really cool black guy, the wisecracking Italian guy, or this other character we're going to be meeting later on. So, I'm uh, honestly Hillary really Clinton. cute. No, not her. <laughs> not Hillary Clinton. <laughs> or Dill Clinton. Dill Clinton. <laughs> no, it's the goofy guy. Yeah, the goofy guy. But we'll, we'll see. Suplex. Yeah, all right. Beautiful. Motherfucking beautiful. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> 
Oh, and the fan service. Oh, yes. <laughs> this game is absolutely filled with fan service. You haven't watched enough anime yet. Mm -hmm. I've been re I have been looked at my manga for No Game No Life, and have you seen... You haven't seen the anime anyway. Never mind. Wasn't, that, wasn't, wasn't there like a part in the anime you telling me where they were naked, but they just didn't draw in the nipples? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because he, they were playing a word game, and they get destroyed all of the... No, it... They were playing this weird ass word game and since he said something they were when they were naked it wasn't it was censored in a way. They just don't draw the nipples so they're allowed to be naked. Yeah. yeah it, that's it was kind of not alright, in my opinion. <laughs> Whatever, it's Japan. Yeah, I know it's their own culture, but it was not that it was all No that there's a certain if if you're gonna draw porn, then just make it porn. It's not, not porn. It's not porn. It's not porn. Yeah. If if you want to draw no, naked th women, then on, make it porn. Look, no. no. Then you wanna make this porn, Michael? <laughs> yeah, you wanna make this porn. Because there's naked porn? girls in here. There aren't naked girls in here. There's a lot of fans. There's a lot of This game's just porn because there's fan service. There's fan service, but there's not No, it's nudity. porn because Michael said it's porn now. So Titanic, you know, the movie Titanic is porn because there's one scene in, in which there's nudity. Uh huh. Is it, is, did they do they actually show yes. the stuff? You've never seen Titanic, yet. Have no, you? I haven't. Oh, oh my god. Michael has. Michael. Hasn't, I, like he I disappoints said, me every day. <laughs> he disappoints me every. I'm Mr. Titanic, and then my my partner here, <laughs> not not my sexual partner, you, uh, my 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 YouTube partner here, is like, what's Titanic, Ethan? I know what I know the, of the film. I just haven't seen it. I know he thought it was just a movie. He, he didn't know the boat was real. No, I'm not one of those people. I'm not like the he it was dad. It was Drake and Josh, where he thought that it was just a movie. Oh. Like they had that joke. Yeah, I know. I saw it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was just a movie. That was just a movie based on a real story. What? <laughs> Whew. That was a damn good movie. Frickin Frickin' sitcom Nickelodeon shows. Hey, Drake I like Drake and Josh. Drake, Drake and Josh, that I awesome. enjoyed that. So you can shut your. It's better than I call it Carly, but not. I call it was fun. I liked it. I call it Flower was sucked. I liked it. It was fun. That, that show. Game. That and show. And with that, we finally get to play the game. No, we don't. No, we don't. Now no. we do. So one of the things, yeah, there are there's a touch control option for the Wii U version if you happen to have that, like I do, but <gasps> I've never used it. And nobody has a Wii U, so. He, well, that's not true, but because I have one, so that therefore there must be people who own them. And doesn't Schwingy own one too? Schwingy, that Schwingy, your friend Schwingy. Nope, your best friend. Nope, he does not own one. Well, who was it then? I'm thinking you had a friend who owned one. You. It was Travis. <laughs> he has one. All right. Do I need to edit that name out, or can we keep it in? I don't know. I hey, Tra Travis, if you're watching this, but you know you aren't. Uh, do you want us to edit your name out? <laughs> I think you might. I think that if by the time we've uploaded this, it'd... maybe just edit out his last name. All right. Well, so what makes one of the things that's really great about Bayonetta is that the con. Ooh, shit! You <laughs> fucked failed. Up. You failed. Is that the combat? I would describe it similar to um how the gameplay of Pac-Man was described. Oh yeah. Oh, that's Ethan? much better. Much better. Is that? Oh, that, oh, that, was, bad. that was a bad one. That was a Jesus. Per... You're getting clouds in my eye. That was a particular. I'm trying bad. to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jesus. <laughs> oh. 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 Worth it. Oh. Oh. Geez. Worth it. Oh. Ethan, so worth you need it. to learn the control. Oh. Okay. If they could all be that. Oh. If Jesus. Did Did you smell that masterpiece? It was. It's bad. <laughs> it was just like this is like so raw. the com the combat in this game is easy to learn, difficult to master. It's there's a lot to it if you can get into the depths of the there's a lot of depth to it. I guess is what I'm trying to say. If you can get into the into the combos and stuff, <laughs> but I think anybody could pick up a controller and play this game, no problem. No matter what. Well, no. I'm sure that like no. casual players wouldn't be able to do it, but. If you're if you're a gamer and if, and if you don't have much experience with hack and slash games, I think that you'll be able to get into this game just fine. Is what I'm saying. It's a lot like Splatterhouse, but good. And we are playing this on in on normal indeed because this this game gets like monstrously hard in anything above normal. Like I was barely able to beat hard mode, and that was with superfluous use of items and stuff. It was still really fun, but. 
you know, for LP's sake, I want to pick something that's a little more manageable for my skill set. Alright, people watching this video, do you notice the difference between 30 frames and 60 frames a second? <laughs> yes. Michael's, the, Michael's the only person I've never heard, I've ever met in my life that is like, what's the difference between 30 frames and 60 the frames a second? The eye can only detect 24 frames per second. So therefore, so 60 wait, frames a second automatically Your eyes are better. shittier than everybody else in the world? No, everybody's eyes are like that. No, so everybody can season. only see in 24p. 24 to 40 frames a second, but that's not. It doesn't, it doesn't automatically mean you make make you. Doesn't that, that make doesn't mean there's, there's no a certain difference. there's a certain point after which it becomes redundant. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, and that's past and that's, 60 that's frames. Past 60 frames, <laughs> 60 <laughs> frames is the max. Max 45 is usually the average in which a person can notice the difference between. Well, that doesn't matter because my capture card can only do 30 fps. That's no, no, we're, we're just about. we're just we're we're telling talking. you that you're wrong. No, we're telling you that you're wrong and you should feel bad. You don't need to feel bad, you just <laughs> yeah, need to he, change he, he, your he, way of thinking. You're wrong about life and you should feel bad. Yeah, he should feel bad. You just change your way of thinking. He must feel bad. Yeah. Go, go hide in the corner in shame. 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 So this mechanic right here is witch time. And it's shame. One of the unique aspects of being at a shame is that... Using her witch powers, Bayonetta is able to heighten her reflexes and slow down time. And be able to... And it, it's pretty much mandatory to kill some of the harder enemies in the game. And it's that being said... Control. Yeah, sort of like that, actually. That's that's a good... I don't even know what game. Chaos Control is from Sonic it, 06. It's from Sonic it's Adventure from 2. 2. And they do it in Sonic 06. Well, what they do yeah, is because it's from it's part Sonic of the, Adventure 2. Yeah. What is it? What does it do? I just saw Basically... It it's basically um warp plot speed. convenience powers. Yeah. If we could put it simply. Okay, so they, no, it's warp speed. Yeah, where, do, where do they where do they keep the chaos emeralds when they pull them out? Where does Sonic keep all the rings he finds? Where exactly. does Deadpool pull out all the guns that he has? Mallet space. That's what it Why is. Why doesn't Mega Man just warp to the boss ring? Because then there wouldn't be a game. <laughs> yeah. So that I hope that answers your question then. <laughs> yeah, I, I I answered my own question before you said that when I said mallet space or hammer space, whatever you want to call it. No. And if you have a problem with the shit just being pulled out of nowhere, then you're not gonna like this game that much. There's if, it, if we're talking about they weapons. Kid, they anyway. kidnapped Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> There's people trying to sleep, Michael. <laughs> Was it really that funny? <laughs> yeah. Yes, it was. They kidnapped Eddie Murphy and they broke his car. <laughs> there, there's no way they can hear us up there. It is, oh. it is kind of topical, you know, since Eddie Murphy did have a car like that in uh, Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, you know, it's present day, but all, every vehicle is from the 50s. Yeah, the, 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 yeah we're I, I honestly don't know if that's model after. That looks, looks 50s. I don't know, though. Uh, By the way, I like that the I like that the, st I like that the st disease stars that go around the enemies are pentacles. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got we've got we have um so we have Eddie Murphy Bayonetta, um, and then there's um, gonna be another character up coming up soon. It looks like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yes, and we've got Mike Rowe. How many other characters do we meet? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Alonzo's just like looking like a brick at the TV like... Duh. Well, Alonzo's writing his paper for class. Right? No, yeah. he's watching the screen just in like your confusion like, what the <laughs> fuck are these guys talking I about? Know. Like, oh, I don't even know. <laughs> what are these crackers talking about? <laughs> <laughs>